Hey, Eric here with 30 by 40 Design Workshop, coming to you from outside the studio on a beautiful day here in Maine. I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at a short documentary film that we just finished filming this week. This was part of the goals that I set for 2017. I'd always wanted to make a documentary film. I decided this year that I was tired of talking about it and that I actually just wanted to do it. In February, I started talking with Trent. I gave him a proposal on what I was hoping to do, the ideas that I had for it. So we scheduled it for June 12th and 13th, and I had been drafting scripts along the way. And as we got closer to the filming, and he was asking for a more detailed script, I started to panic a little bit. So about a week ago, I sent him the draft version of the script and he called me up and said, Eric, I love the story and I love what you're trying to do and I can see what you're trying to do, but this is not a script. <laughs> so one of the reasons why I wanted to make a film in the first place is because I think as professionals, as creatives, we can get into these ruts. We get into these places where we're really comfortable and we know how to do what we do. And so we keep doing that. And so this was, provided some creative friction for me. It was a place that I could challenge myself. And it was also an opportunity to work with other people who had more experience in this than I did. And so working with Trent was that opportunity. You know, he's been making a lot of video lately, especially for architects. And so that was one opportunity. And when we got to this friction point where the script was just not really coming together, he basically said, hey, look, I know a story editor that I've worked with in the past. I started working with Elise about a week ago. And so that was one of the best things that could have happened to this project. She took the story from me that I wanted to tell, packaged it in a way that I think is really gonna connect with people. I rewrote the script, it was a real script, sent it to Trent, and then we started this sort of furious process of coming up by paragraph by paragraph what the visuals were gonna to be to connect that with. And so in this, there's an underlying narrative um, that's the storyline that's running in the background. And so that is filmed. And then on top of that, we're layering on all these visuals. And that is in film parlance called B-roll. So the B-roll is all the imagery that's running over my voice, over the narration that's happening in the background. And actually the B-roll takes quite a long time to get. And so what we did was take the script, for every paragraph we decided what B-roll shots we needed. And then from those B-roll shots, we compiled a master list of the B-roll. Hey, good morning. It's Monday morning. We have a two day video shoot to grab all the footage for the short documentary film that we're making. So I'm planning to grab the camera when I can, give you a peek behind the scenes of what it takes to make a short film because I don't really know yet. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Okay, so last couple of edits to the script happening here. Lean in a little more, Corey. And then look above, above camera, yeah. Be great. <laughs> so that would be drawings and stuff. Okay, so day two, about 5.15 uh, in the morning. Another nice day. We have kind of a little bit of weather coming in. 10 a.m., 2 p.m., they say. So we're gonna have to kind of plan the shoot around that. But day one was really fantastic, really interesting. So what I really picked up on was the fact that you need so much B-roll, so much extra footage, um, and each one of those shots takes time to set up. And so it was just an incredible amount of work even to get just a small little shot. It's super buggy out here, so I think I'm gonna have to go in. Um, but it's another beautiful day here. Sun's coming up. Um, these guys are getting ready to show up at eight o'clock and then we're gonna start shooting. Okay, it's the end of the day two of the shoot and uh, we're finally done. We just wrapped up, it's about seven o'clock right now. 
Uh, we started at about eight in the morning. So the afternoon wasn't totally sunny. But it's actually good for the interior shots to have it not be so uh, lit from the sun. Here, beautiful night. <laughs> Let's see if you can see this guy. So appreciative for the opportunity to work with other professionals, to learn about how Trent puts film together, the different equipment that he uses. We did time-lapse photography, we used sliders, we used the Mavic Pro, the drone that I just picked up, a uh, whole bunch of different techniques. He has a DJI Osmo that we got to use, so some gimbal follow-on footage, vertical sliders, you know, handheld shots tripod stuff, just a whole variety of different techniques and equipment to learn from and sort of brush up against. So it touched on every sort of creative nerve that I had around filmmaking and it only made me want to do it even more. So the next step here is going to be taking all the film, all the video that we captured and then compiling it, um, editing it down and really making it support, the, making the visuals support the uh, audio story that's there. And that's the real trick with film. We're hoping to have it done within the month, so I'll keep you guys in the loop on this. I think the story behind it is really going to resonate with all of you, uh, because it's a personal story of mine, but it's a story that's bigger than me. I think it'll connect with anyone who struggles with being purposeful in life and figuring out how to prioritize doing the things that you really want to do. And so I'm excited to share this story with you guys. Thanks as always for being a subscriber. Thanks as always for watching. Um, click down below and give me a thumbs up if I've helped you in any way at all with this. Or if you're excited to see the video, let me know in the comments. All right, talk to you soon. Cheers.